<gasps> Don't take off the stickers, Arkham. All right, guys. Welcome back to another episode. So I'm just tormenting myself right now. I'm waiting for prices to drop, but uh, this thrift store that I frequent a lot in Shadagi is starting to pick up its games again. There's Master System games in here. You'll get some Genesis stuff, uh, NES, SNES, and now Xbox uh, One, PS4 games are starting to show up. And they even had a couple of clone consoles. I know the glare on that glass kind of uh, makes it hard to see, but uh, they're starting to get stuff in there. N64, uh, PS1, like I said, uh, SNES, and some prices are okay. Some prices are ridiculous, but... If it sits there long enough, they do a crazy price drop, and they have uh, a buy one, get one uh, sale, or, you know, like, deal week, uh, if not every month, every two months, so I just have to play the waiting game. Oh, don't hit that too hard. So we started out just going to buy some milk, and uh, we wound up going out hunting a bit, uh, my daughter Arkham Bella and I. And this place, you know, even though getting games and uh, some toys and figures has been spotty for, I would say, like the last couple of months, there's a lot of plush stuff for her. We've been finding CDs uh, for a quarter each, and I've been finding her a lot of the uh, Disney movies in their DVD section for about a buck. Yeah, I know some of those prices. I don't know. Uh, look right there. Hello Kitty. Is that a $20 GameCube game? You guys would have to let me know down in the comments. So they are getting... I would say okay stuff in there again, but the pricing is... Uh, so what I have to do is now come here every weekend or every other weekend and wait them out until those Master System games come down. Because if you watched any of these videos where I come to this particular uh, thrift secondhand store, the one that I lovingly call the poor store because that's how it was introduced to me by friends that actually live in this town. So if they call it that, I guess it's not uh, such a horrible word, but uh, we only found stuff for Arkham pretty much. So we found um, a George for 50 cents from Peppa Pig, which she will not let me touch. Uh, a Dumbo, which is very clean for a second hand store and a plush toy. This is right from the Disney World store, $2 for him. Uh, one of these wonderful world of gumballs for a quarter. She saw that on the counter, she had to take it. Uh, this is a 1991, it says on it, it's Batman. I wanna say that this is Burger King or McDonald's, but there's no other marking on it other than trademark 1991 DC Comics. But as soon as I saw it, I remember I had this as a child. Remember the penguin was, it's gotta be from uh, Batman Returns, cause I remember the penguin. And then, this has got to be a mini pop because its head isn't bobbling around. But from uh, Mass Effect, this is uh, Garrus and I uh, got it for 50 cents. So it's a start. We went to Walmart because my friend uh, Steve Barr let me know that uh, Walmart was having that Starlink, the new Star Fox game with the little spaceship. They were on sale and they were like $29 in his area in uh, British Columbia. So I came looking here and uh, if, if you don't know, we're in Quebec. And they're like $45 here at our Walmart. So I'm not going to pick it up yet. Hopefully it'll come down. Uh, now we're going to go check out EB. And hopefully Micro Zhu. And then we'll take the baby home for a nap. So uh, so far we've spent a total of uh, like $375. So really I could just chalk this day up as being done. Because there's no yard sales. It's raining. It's uh, a nice warm day for the end of April. But still you know a rainy day. Uh, like I said, I could just call this a day and go home with the sp only spending three dollars and the baby got some stuff, but we gotta persevere. Is there really that much white in my beard? Holy crap, why didn't you guys tell me? I hope this is just a reflection. You see all the toys? 
So, like I just mentioned, after the thrift store, we went to go check out Walmart. We went uh, a couple of towns over to Senko Stan. That's the Walmart that we like the most. And in my opinion, they have the best liquidation side. So, I'll let you guys look at the stuff that they have here. There's, you know, Transformers, Marvel stuff, tons of girl toys. Arkham loves coming here. She knows right away that this is the toy store. She'll say, toys and shopping, and Walmart's the place to go, at least for us. Something about this liquidation side, I bought the die-cast Batman from, I think it was Injustice 2 or DC Universe, but it was originally priced for like $59, I waited it out, I picked it up for $24.99, and now, looking again, it's $19.99, even the Red Skull was $22 bucks down from $30, and now it's $14, so if you wait them out, you know, the prices will just drop, but you take the chance of uh, risking if the ones that are there actually get sold uh, other deals I always like to look around for stuff like this was the uh, culture fly boxes and I actually did buy the fallout one and I have an unboxing on the channel if you want to check it out these were all reduced from like thirty four dollars down to uh, 17 19 bucks and I'm still waiting out the arcade one ups they're still four hundred dollars which one's the puppy we finally got to see Avengers Endgame you know it was really good I liked it Five dollars for these Pixel Pals. Ren and Stimpy, Shredder and the Foot Soldiers. Guess which two I bought. Couple of weeks later we got out to the flea market. Didn't get a lot of footage, there wasn't a lot of tables. You know, it's just too hard to bring the camera, the spy camera glasses are done. And you know, coming out with the baby in her stroller, it's just you know easier to get a little bit of footage with the uh, cell phone. But look, this is how sparse it was. Usually this is full of tables. Now they got people parking right in there. You know, we found a couple of things you're going to see at the end, but, uh, you know, it's not in full gear yet. This was early May. A couple of Nintendos, a blue N64. Masters of the Universe, this was later in the series, still boxed. Found a couple of retro toys. This table actually had some good stuff that I'll show you in a couple of minutes. And then this, this I put in here for uh, DC Radia. Chris, if you're watching, what is that? Quick little uh, snippet. And this is everything that I picked up from uh, the Walmart liquidation, and then I'll show you everything from the flea market afterwards. Like I mentioned, this is the follow culture fly box and uh, everything goes into my fallout display case. Uh, these transformers that I showed on the last video, Prowl, Sideswipe, and uh, two Jetfires, these were on liquidation for $9 and these things, you know, they're not the most uh, articulated points of articulation they're all ball joint but these look great like these would be a great toy for kids and they look fantastic on the shelves and I'll just go through all of them quickly you know it's six to eight steps you don't need to see the transformation but you know vehicle mode and the robot mode fantastic and they got uh, they take up big spots on the shelf but I love them and there's a quick pan of everything I got transformers wise and then these are my flea market finds from the middle of May right before my birthday.
And that's going to do it for another Flea Market Adventures, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate all the views and the likes. And you know this part. If you found anything cool at your yard sale or local flea market this week, let me know about it down in the comments. I love to hear from you guys. Till next time, take care.